Hello and welcome to Pod Meets World. I'm Paul. I'm Dave. And I'm Justin. And this week we're discussing the episode by hook or by crook. This episode originally aired February 17th, 1995, attracting approximately 17.7 million viewers. Number one at the box office this week, the Brady Bunch movie. Oh man. Wait, was that the one with all the crazy explosions and kind of like a spy movie or was that the older one? I've never seen anything to do with the Brady Bunch. Oh, okay. I vaguely remember something to that effect. Okay. Uh, Billboard number one for the week. Any guesses? Any guesses? No, I have no idea. I don't think it's that one because it lost out a couple of weeks ago, but I'm guessing it's not Boys to Bed. No, it's not. It's Creep by TLC. Ah, but not that specific Creep. Not the one you're thinking of, the other one. Duly noted. It's not the one that everybody knows, it's the one that nobody knows. Hmm. Uh, number one TV show for the week, ER. Because, of course. Well, I mean, it could have been Seinfeld, because that would have been on at the same time. You know, with the yada yada yadas. Uh, WWF champion at the time. Any guesses? Any guesses? Is it have a fire involved with it? Diesel. My goodness, the thing is on the fires. Uh, WCW champion at the time. Any guesses? Still Hulk Hogan? It is indeed still Hulk Hogan. With his cartoon show and the much... No, the cartoon show was in the 80s. There could be reruns. David, I'm gonna break break some news to you. Um, that show was shit. (laughs) Most indubitably. Uh, and for video games this week, there's, there's really nothing. Nothing of amazing. <coughs> Nothing of note. Hmm. Although there will be come March, so. Okay, oh, man. Gotcha. Uh, so Eric and Jason are planning a huge trip to Europe in the summer. Alan says uh, that he just received a note from Feeney saying that Eric is failing European history. He tells Eric that unless he gets a B average, he'll be going to summer school and not Europe. At school, Sean tells Topanga that Corey's unwell. Mr. Turner comes in and reveals that he has to take the bus as his motorcycle has been run over. Sean offers the services of his Uncle Mike's motorcycle repair shop. Well, tries. He gets the wrong card to start. (laughs) Pale bonds and prosthetics. One way or another, we get you on your feet. (laughs) Mm. That's a good joke. And it works fairly good for a sales pitch. Uh, In Eric's history class, Feeney tells uh, the class that they have a test on Thursday on the French Revolution. Eric immediately asks if they have to know who won. <laughs> yes, and by how many points. <laughs> Justin, do you know who won the French Revolution? I'll give you a hint. It involved a guillotine. Mm. If you say the guillotine, nobody will really dispute that. Because it got a fucking workout. Uh, Eric and J- Jason suggest to Feeney that if he gave them B's the next couple of tests, they'll be inspired to work hard to maintain that grade. The fuck? Instead, Feeney yeah, no. suggests that they study for the tests and recommends a tutor, Tori Hart, who is Feeney's very attractive teaching assistant. Why Feeney thought this was a good idea, nobody fucking knows. Because, uh, you're a tutor, this will work great. Uh, yeah, but it's Eric. Yeah. And Jason. Well, also those two things, but also supposed spoiler for the episode that we'll get to when we get to it. After school, Topanga brings Corey's homework for the day and finds out he has mono, as in the kissing disease, and jealously demands to know who Corey has been kissing, which Corey avoids answering by pretending to be asleep. Yeah. I love how your shop homework is like, I'm done, I made a shelf. I made a shelf! That's something I would have tried to pull. Uh, For the first tutoring session, Tori gives Jason a huge history book to read for the evening and to discuss in the next session. When Eric comes in, she points out that his history... Essays are <laughs> completely inaccurate <laughs> to the point where he doesn't seem to be concerned about dates, people, or what actually happened. Yeah. Um, so he'd fit right in with the Republican Party. Anyway, uh, complete, and suggests that they move on to somewhere more comfortable to discuss them. Meanwhile, Mr. Turner takes his bike to Uncle Mike's repair shop, where Sean is also working, and arranges to have it repaired for $300. Uh, Tori takes Eric to Chubby's and makes a move on him. She then offers to give him the answers to the test. Later, Jason and Eric have just taken the test and are discussing how hard it was. 
Because <laughs> apparently there were 11 possible answers on a multiple choice test. That's Mr. Feedy for you. You guess G or something. <coughs> Man, I put V for that one. V or something. <laughs> uh, Eric says it was so hard he left half of it blank and tells Jason that Tori had offered him the questions, but he did not take them because that would be cheating. Mr. Feeney comes back with the grades. Jason has a B and Eric has an A-. minus. Eric goes to Tori for an explanation and finds out that Tori failed in his answers. Eric is disappointed because he wanted to earn the grade himself. Mm. Mr. Turner goes to collect his bike and finds that Uncle Mike has made it like new, <laughs> better than new, but charges $1,500. He also filed off the serial numbers for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's not the first time he's done that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Sean interferes and threatens his uncle, which makes him proud. <laughs> so he keeps his word and charges $300. <laughs> if only your mother was alive to see this. She, she, she is. is. Oh, I should call her. <laughs> <laughs> Late at night, Eric is actually studying history. He decides to call Tori and asks for Aries to study, but Tori gives him the answers to the test instead. After the test, Eric goes home, and his parents, uh, having found out from Mr. Feeney that Eric's average has gone up a full grade, have bought him a backpack for his trip to Europe. Feeling guilty, Eric goes back to school to see Mr. Feeney and confess to having cheated. Tori comes in, and when she finds out that Eric has confessed, assumes that he also told Feeney that she gave him the answers. Feeney therefore finds out and gives Tori a lesson on the importance of respecting students and developing their potential instead of just writing them off. At the end of the episode, Topanga visits Corey and reveals that she has worked out that Corey caught mono from a guy named Steve Nielsen, or Steve Nelson, sorry, sneezing on him in chemistry. Corey continues to try and make Topanga jealous by claiming that he was making out with a girl at the time and tricks Topanga into confessing that she likes him and then pretending to be asleep again. Corey, that's never going to work. So, Corey's been, like, sick this entire episode. Not the most part. one of the particular episodes where Corey wasn't that much of a focus. Yeah, he wasn't the focus for once. Little yeah. side story with Sean and some stuff with a couple of characters, but mostly it's been Eric with yeah. his experience. Eric was the main plot here. Yeah. Which is fun, because Eric doesn't get a whole lot of screen time sometimes. Mm. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so, what do y'all think of this episode? This episode was pretty good. I definitely enjoyed the particular... Subject covered and just how it went about it. Just with the subject of don't write people off from what you sort of expect. They have the potential to do what they can. I mean, you would also think that Eric would think, oh yeah, now that I'm actually getting a decent grade, I should be able to go to Europe. But for some reason, he was like, no, I have to earn it. It's just, it just seemed like an odd character building moment, but like, I guess it's not he needs it. It's not know. totally out of line with Eric, because Eric's kind of a goof, but he's not a bad guy. No, that's true. Mm -hmm. And I sort of saw it as a case of that was the particular motivator that he kind of needed for that sort of stuff, since with the tutor, she went two different ways with both of the guys she was tutoring. With the one, she gave him the book and told him what to do, and when he tried to show the moves off, and was like, yeah, I'm not interested, do the work. And he's like, okay... Meanwhile, then, Eric wasn't doing the moves. He was hoping that she would actually tutor him. Where she showed those particular moves. Where at first I sort of thought, is this kind of her method for actually kind of to get him to do the work? Eric doesn't like the moves placed on him. He prefers to do it himself in that sort of case. But no, just as the story sort of panned out in the direction it went, it was good. Yeah, I kind of think Feeney's a dick here. Because, like, Eric comes in to confess, and he's like, well, fuck you, see you in summer school. Because, like, he did, like, I know Eric's kind of a fuckwad, but he did do the right thing, and he did help you deal with, like, a much larger potential issue in your TA giving out test answers. Mm. You should probably cut him some slack. Now, of course, <coughs> it's the case that he gave the TA a break with it. This is true. I would think, like, but I um, think it might have also just been the case of Eric was more concerned about his thought on going through all of this, and Feeney giving him the chance to go to Europe. Then, eh, in the one hand, it might have panned out that Eric just wouldn't have wanted that anyway. He was content on going to summer school. I guess so. Like he already pretty much accepted that as like 
what to do. Mm. Just to just to have actual like learning or something. Mm. Alrighty, so if there's nothing else, next week we'll be discussing the episode <laughs> The Wrong Side of the Tracks. Mm. Corey and Sean's friendship is tested when Sean starts hanging out with Harley, who's been recasted. Mm-hmm. And Eric learns to skate via tape. Hmm. Not videotape, audio tape. Oh boy. Food has no power over me. Anyway. <coughs> Until next week, I'm Paul. I'm Dave. And I'm Justin.